Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl Super League show, episode number 6. Getting to the business end of the season now. Uh, this week I'm joined by two-time CCL champ, Gdanik, uh, as we do the same as the other episodes. Look at a replay, look at the results around the league, the tables, the fixtures. And uh, of course be sure to check out the website that has uh, you know the games that are arranged. Uh, you can see all the VODs and everything. You can also see all the tables. Um, I'll leave the links down below. So there you go, let's get to it. Okay, so this is the featured match of the week. It's Purple Chests Dwarves versus Calcium's Humans. Hello, Gadenik. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, hot Group B action. Um, very interesting here from like if Calcium can win this, he gets into a prime slot to uh, qualify. Very interesting. Yeah, Group B is like super, super tight. I mean, uh, a lot of people being knocked out of the race in uh, in Group A, but Group B, it's kind of you know every man for himself at this point still with the last week, which is last couple of weeks, so <laughs> pretty cool. Yep, all to play for, absolutely. And uh, Calcium chose to defend um, because, like, he is trying to win, right? So I think that was his his rationale was that mm -hmm. um, that you know he's got eleven players guaranteed for defense, hasn't he? Um, would you have done the same as humans? Oh, if, if I'm looking for a win in most matchups, you know, defense is the way, you know, offense is sort of the way, if I'm looking for a draw, which, you know, you're not often looking to do unless it's a league with a certain point system, isn't it? You know, you're not often looking for a draw. But mm. offense, you know, you've got all your players, you do your eight turn grind, score, and then you're like, ah, oh, cool, I can dust my hands of this. <laughs> I've got my draw. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, you know, you're looking for the win. You're like, okay, I'm going to fight, fight, fight on this defense. Put it all in. Get a stop, maybe a turn, a defensive score. Let's turn this into a win. Yeah. Also, the the way the, the big thing for me is the offensive drive, right? Like, if at least if you know you've let one in, you can then, especially as humans, try to score early, can't you? And, uh, and go for the turnover to get the win. I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah, that's the thing. It was my game against Fatten a couple of weeks ago. I... He, he got the eight turns stolen me, uh, and I was like, well, uh, you know, I kind of need the win for the for the record. Uh, I'm going to go for it. You know, banked it in in four, in three or four, I think, and was was fortunate enough to be rewarded with uh, a turnover score and, and, and a win. Um, you do have that option once you know, you know, you know if you don't know how it's going to go, you've kind of got one option. You're like, okay, I will score on turn eight you know, yes. <laughs> maybe if you're elves or something you can go oh, I'll score in like a couple of turns and then try to steal it or whatever but any like normal team you kind of got the option of scoring on turn eight against anyone or at least trying to score as close as you can to turn eight <laughs> yeah that was a nice blitz wasn't it to get the guard into the 2d the ogre and then chain out the hit back mm. nice stuff from pc i mean as you'd expect uh oh i mean as you'd expect he is. I mean, he's 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 the man, isn't he? PC. He knows how to how to make contact, how to you know leverage his way up the pitch as much as possible. That's one thing I always super admire about PC about how much he just like, oh, you've given me a little bit of space. Yeah, I'll take all of it. And suddenly his team of movement form and it's just like, I I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a turn. Where PC just tries to claim as much space, you know, if, if Calcium makes a little, little, uh, you know, not even a mistake, but just like a, you know, it gives a little space here or there. You know, humans can't be perfect. Yeah. Um, with Edge Three at defending every little bit of space, you know, PC just slamming his guys up very aggressively, much more aggressively than a lot of other people do. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, you can just have bad turns, can't you? Right? Like, roll a bunch of pushes or. Or like one in nines and stuff like it's not yeah as you say you don't have to make a mistake it can just it could just be bad dice yeah i mean you know el elves or stuff you know you know they often get to you know just dodge a bunch of guys out and claim the perfect line bash you know te teams which aren't edgy for don't really have that luxury hmm. Just to get his uh, safe. Not going for the frenzy opportunity. 
<laughs> Interesting push direction there. Would have would have left him exposed, wouldn't it? Um, so like more exposed than pushing mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. side. Uh, but I, I guess he's just gone for like minimizing that con like that contact back. I mean, he's really hoping to get that guard down. This mm -hmm. calcium will be able to kind of because that guard's standing up. Calcium's going to be able to uh, turn this. Uh, you know, push forward, and he's going to be able to loop, fight back a bit more than the PC would like. Mm. It's, the, it's the one thing, you know, about humans, they often get a bit, uh, you know, based up a bit more by teams, you know, by the, the real bash teams, <laughs> 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 a bit more than maybe, maybe they should, because they, you know, they've got a lot of guard. I mean, in this format, I mean, they often have you know three or four guard, maybe maybe even five uh, in a regular team, and they just punch all your dudes back. And a lot of people who are used to, you know, they might be basing them like they're based against elves, <laughs> with you know elves having no guard or very minimal. Or kind of just find themselves in in a bit of a punching line, like uh, PC's finding here. You know, he's just got all his dudes slapped down, and he went and based. <laughs> Yeah, nice play from Calcium, just playing it safe, isn't he? Keeping in front of keeping everyone in front of him. Mm -hmm. It's like it's it's a pretty effective way to play against Wolves, really. I'm I'm <laughs> the more that I've played in this league, I'm, the more I've thought, how the hell are dwarves supposed to score, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's the thing. If your opponents you know, if you just hold the centre as much as you can, you know, whatever your team is, elves flames <laughs> uh, you know near humans you just hold the center as much as you can dwarves you know, unless they kill everyone which you know, not super likely I mean it happens sometimes but they're gonna have to choose a side <laughs> and then hopefully you can su shut down the sideline push we'll see how calcium does here but he's, he's forced PC to pick a side and uh, PC is not gonna be able to swap sides very quickly is he you know no. he's, he's not gonna be able to like, oh, okay, uh, say, say Calcium completely shuts down this wing this turn, you know. Cheeky 1D. Oh, 1D armor break! Brutal. On the block over. Brutal. Brutal. But, you know, say, say Calcium does a really good job, shuts it down. Um, what, what's a man to do? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if... I wonder if he could have got, he could have, uh, he could have chained the runner there, couldn't, ah, no, he wants to blitz him, I was going to say, okay, if he got the pow there, he could have chained the runner and then blitz the defenseless runner with Mighty Blow, couldn't he, but, I That would have been good, I, I reckon that's probably what he was aiming for, if he, uh, got the pow, if he got the pow, but it's good having sort of backup plans, isn't it, you know, mm. you, you don't get the, you know, you're not always going to get good dice, are you, so if you've got kind of a, a plan which works really well with great dice and you know still works pretty good with just just okay dice i i hate it not punching that oh I, I i'm i'm curious as as to why that's a dodge instead of a punch yeah. it kind of i i thought i thought that was really beautiful but i mean one minute turns and all that probably but um, and also maybe this guy should have gone there good. right mm. it, it is a bit rough with the the ogre stun it was probably it was a brutal thinking, stun, oh, my ogre will hold the middle. <laughs> but maybe, maybe this is letting PC reverse. Like, the one thing I said he could, would definitely not be able to do, <laughs> he's immediately doing it. So there's some really great commentary from me, I think. Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, yeah. Pretty good. Well, I'll, maybe I should have said it's going to be really tricky for him to reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a bit of a gaping hole, wasn't it, for for uh, PC to come through there? True enough, true enough. But yeah, the, the time is a factor. Obviously, you end up you end up not mm. doing what you'd like to do and just running out of time nearly. Oh my God, what a horrible bomb! Oh. How's how's Kassin going to end up stopping this now? This is going to be a tricky one. Yeah. That was, that was such a bad bonnet, isn't it? Because he could have he could have chained the could have chained the carrier back into contact with the orca, couldn't he? 
Yeah, I mean, even though it's on the um, Troll Slayer, he's got another guard, he's got Blitzer in there, he's got, um, you know, mm. it's just whole, it's just disconnecting the the whole back of the Dwarf team. Ooh. Oh, get banged on Dwarves. <laughs> that made up for it a bit. That's the first removal, isn't it? There's like, it Ooh. has been tricky for PC, not making any removals is, is like, it is hard with Dwarves if you don't remove them. Yeah, you do need to kind of bang on men's a little bit. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, that's what, that's what I'm saying, you know, you, if Calcium keeps making him have to zig and zag, you know, back and forth too much, you know, eventually these move, you know, the, the poor movements can you know, get to him, you'd think. Although it is PC, maybe it'll just make a million GFIs and be okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I mean, he's going to be in contact here, isn't he? Um, mm -hmm. He couldn't. He couldn't clear. He hasn't no, some, some pretty good basing. I mean, imagine how tricky this would be if, say, the ogre stood up too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, he's got nowhere to go, has he? Big dodge. A huge dodge, actually. And another one. <laughs> oh, I guess, okay, he's just gonna. And a GFI. Yeah, yeah. There's a chain on here, had, isn't there? Kind of had to make all that. Yeah, there's, there's a nice little chain out on, onto chain the ogre. There, on there. Uh, we can even. You know, we're probably just leaving it at a 1D chain, I guess. Yeah. That, I mean, that, that has to be the play, doesn't it? Oh. Or. Oh. Well. That's the push. Part one. Ogre punch. Part Let's two. go, champs. Let's go, champ. <laughs> Gets him down. Oh. It, a really solid turn, but I mean, even though uh, I mean PC got the the reversal, which we're all like, you know. <laughs> I, I was dismayed because I said he definitely wouldn't be able to do it. He did leave like a few players behind, yeah. Yeah. So he wasn't able to fully reinforce. So when Calcium went and <laughs> based some men's, uh, there wasn't the full dwarf force there ready to just like immediately kill every human that went into base contact, was there? No. There had to be lots of dodges and shuffling and weird yeah. blocks. And... So, you know, assume, you know, maybe it wasn't the worst re reverse to left him. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and now all of a sudden it's turn seven, so it's like, what does <laughs> what does PC even do now to get scoring threats? <laughs> does he think about stopping this scoring threat? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest, Calcium's probably looking a little better off than the score right now, despite <laughs> the ball being and still in PC's hand. Yeah. Oh, I guess this is it. Yeah, he makes the dodge with the. Oh no! He just. Uh... Uh, I guess it's in range. Oh, and he does have the second one. Yeah. And is that in range too? It's a just, yes. Imagine if Double you feel that dodge! Or imagine, you know. <laughs> Do you have to make that dodge? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. The game is flying by us, but... I think you could have just left base there, couldn't you? I mean... Uh, I guess just... I guess he's got dodge with dodge there, right, for the assist. Then he could have come in the back. And if he comes in the back, he gets to clear out that chain away. Oh, get banged on, champ. Huge, huge get for me. Apple fails. Yeah. Dimmy G. That's why Dimmy's not allowed in the Super League. You know, that's <laughs> just underperforming. Just like that. Oh, my goodness, Dimmy. <laughs> gets the 1D, gets the pow. This is going to be pretty tricky um, for PC on his defense. Uh, he's going to be playing um, 10 men, yeah. down men against humans. Doesn't not go a great for the feeling. 1D. Oh, no, it's not good, is it? It doesn't go for the 1D there. Um, and also, um, it doesn't dodge him out. He goes for the punt. Oh, he goes for the punt. Um, no, I, I guess I can just see, just like, I mean, it's pretty close to zero, isn't it? The score chance? Oh, right. It's not that bad. Like from from the dwarves, I wouldn't have mind seeing the dodge and attempting to. Hmm. Yeah, this I'll, is still kind of on with this player, yeah. isn't it? But I, I guess if you had to blitz the catcher, the score is pretty 
hard to get, isn't it? If he had to use his blitz to hit the catcher. That's the, the thing, ball. yeah, because he couldn't, he couldn't have blitzed the, uh... Blitz the Slayer free, hey, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Feels the hand off. Ooh. But it wasn't, it wasn't crazy odds score was at all, it? No, was it? No, no, no. So that's one of the it reasons was, why was, I don't like uh, punts, basically. <laughs> yeah, the punt's got to be really good. <laughs> like, like I, I, I kind of gained a little bit of fondness for, for punting as I've I've been playing ogres this season in CCL and I've had a, a hail may pass. It's not late. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> And just because ogres are in a very terrible position, like ninety percent of the time, <laughs> kind of <laughs> some okay times to punt throughout the game. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, I, I think people punt a little too often. Yeah. Just uh, you know, taking the blitz. Who knows? There's like a twenty-five percent chance. You know, even a you know a shithead just doesn't get blocked down. Doesn't you know seventy-five yeah. percent chance to knock down someone with block or you know, two dice. One in four, maybe there's a reroll burn or something. Yeah, and then plus they're not using that blitz somewhere else to clear a path or clear a tackle zone on a, on a scoring threat or whatever. So yeah, I, I really like that. So um, well, there you go. What a what a half the calcium stops the score, bangs out a guard, um, long beard. Incredible. Driver's seat completely. Yeah. Got the option of a quick score as well, hasn't he? As humans, like you know, if everything goes wrong, they've got mm -hmm. that. They've got that long-range scoring potential, haven't they? Which uh, you know, a lot of teams don't have. If they get mired yeah. by dwarves, they've just got to carry on plugging away, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. I mean, yeah, exactly. Um, one thing that people often say is like, "Oh, you know, humans, they're the." You know, the middle, you know, average at everything. It's like, well, actually, they're like the third fastest team in the game or something. It's a bit, <laughs> yeah, they're really you know, fast. Faster than Dark Elves. Yeah. Is it often it's something a bit weird? Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's that's what, um, you know, I was playing Calcium and I, I, I listened back to the commentary and everyone was, like, acting as if I was blitzing the catchers because I thought they were Armour 7, but... They're just really fast, aren't they? That's the yeah. thing. So every they chance away from you, they're really good. Like, yeah. so, especially you're, you're playing dwarves, aren't you? So yeah. it's like, <laughs> it's like, well, if they get away from you, there's a potential for them to outrun you completely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, it's they're pretty good blitz targets still. Okay, they're still armor eight, but they're strength two. You've got tackle for their dodge, you know. So mm. like, they're, they're defenseless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was I, I, cool. I'm big, big fan of blitzing things like without block. <laughs> yeah, like block is at, at this sort of TV. Block is like the best kill skill in the game, as well as the best defensive skill in the game. Like, block's a bit broken, honestly, but yeah. you know because you can set, take it at the same TV you know, as other skills. You know, you can take block and guard for twenty k. Yes, and it's like well, who 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 thought that was the same? You know. You can take that as same as like pass block, you know. <laughs> That's great. That's great, isn't it? Twenty k, same cost. Yeah. Blood balls, you know, skills aren't really balanced around the cost, are they? Because no. it's like five skills, which are way better than every other skill in the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they could have addressed that, couldn't they, with Blood Bowl twenty twenty, but didn't. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking they they might have because block and guard are better than everything, and then what dodge, mighty blow. Some other skills are kind of in that tier below it, and then there's a couple of skills which have done niche uses, and then everything else you shouldn't touch unless you're, you know, a complete meme lord or looking to suffer, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty much. There's like a lot of a lot of other games. There's like things, you know, if something's better, like uh, I mean, a card game, like you know, your Hearthstones, your Magics, and stuff. Like if a if a card if a card is better, it costs more, you know, of their mana system or their you know, resources of some kind yeah. to use. Or in any other game, something which is better costs more resources. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, nah, nah, <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> not that I have a problem with it, but it's just interesting. Yeah, 
Pat yeah. Blood Bowl. Yeah. It's very funny when people talk about like the balance of Blood Bowl, you know, like with, with for example, Blood Bowl 3 not having redrafting, and they're like, oh, this ruins the balance, and it's like, dude, it's Blood Bowl. There's no, <laughs> there's no semblance of balance anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fact that like, like it's one of the only games which you're like, oh yeah, we designed some teams to be shit than other teams. <laughs> it's not like even like every other game is like, oh you know, some teams are a little worse, but you know, we tr we tried to make them roughly the same. It's like, nah, we designed like half the teams to be unplayable, unless you're way better than your opponent, and then we designed you know half the teams to be you know a bit rubbish, and then there's like a third of the teams which are you know pretty good. <laughs> Uh, they actively decide choice. It's, it's interesting. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very unique, for sure. Oh, see if Kelsen can get up the swing. Or not. If he gets cut off here, he's got a he's got a bit of an easier job reversing. But lots lots of men's men's based here. Your GFI's oh. from PC really wants to shut down that wing. Yeah, I guess he's. Realize that the quick score doesn't lead to a beneficial. You know, if he quick scores, he's not winning, isn't he? Which he'd probably like to win, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All about that winning. Yeah. I wonder if that's a bit of an overcommit from PC. Uh, that Troll Slayer there. I don't know if he was needed there. Maybe he could have held the middle a bit more. Because um, that suddenly he's yeah. very weak around here now, isn't he? And yeah, he, even if he powers like that, that one long beard which is standing there, it's still pretty hard to like filter all the humans through the that space. I guess. I guess. Like it's pretty tricky. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm with I you, Jim. I I like maybe a little over committee. Yeah. Maybe, maybe even just like letting him take the hit, just leaving him. You know, the rerolls being used. Do we need to do the four plus? I mean, it's, it's one minute. It's, it's one yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not. A, it's not a damning criticism of purple chest. No, no. I think I think PC should be kicked out of the Super League for making that fortune. Please, yeah. Should uh, not next season. It's a bit, a bit mediocre that that touch in place with. Yeah. I'll start the motion to to kick PC out. <laughs> oh boy, Howdy's gone for the handle. Oh, catches are fast. Oh, but he's got his blitzer in the way, so he doesn't get as far away as he might like, I think. You went See that where that guard blitzer was? Kind of cut off an extra square of. Yeah, but he also just stopped himself anyway, right? He was here, and he went oh, really? one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he could have, he could have been here. I oh, could have done, a, could have done a little further up the field as well. Yeah. yeah. See. And this blitz. Well, he's, he's, done a, he's done a pretty good job of screening off. But the blitz is in range. Look. Oh, where's he? Yeah, oh, okay. and he could have just he's been done, out of range of him. He's left a gaping hole. Then I'll change my statement from <laughs> he's done a good job to gaping hole. Yeah. Now see him also should be kicked out of Super League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a tiny. He also ran out of time and didn't stand up his auger, so like he was getting panicked for time towards the end of this, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Gets oh, away with it. Look a dog. Look a dog escapes. Oh, That's because he's a like a dog and it worked. It means it's a good play, which means he can stay in Super League. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works, right? It works, so it's a good play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is still a pretty easy uh, blitz away and handoff, isn't it? Yeah, it looks reasonably straightforward at the moment. Uh, I mean, you know, there's there's some threes to be rolled. However, you cut it, you know, because we're playing humans. There's yeah, yeah, not going to be easily able to fight your way out, but. I'd, I'd imagine that if so, yeah, you can just punch, uh, you can just punch this one now, can't you? And then hand off. Hand off, run around. I can imagine if Calcium wants the score, and he oh, he doesn't immediately take his first action. Oh! His, oh my goodness! This is a great game. We were wondering if this game would be a good replay to look at, but this is fantastic. That was insane. And Wolves are back in it. 
just handed the ball to the dwarf runner. <laughs> you got it? I, I really... That's one of my favourite mechanics is, in, is scanners. It just leads to the best moments in Blood Bowl. I think. Does, yeah. You know, just random ass scanners. Yeah. Uh, going to, like, passing the ball to the opponent or, you know, a miracle sack bouncing all the way up through a miracle lot of players out of a cage. It's all great. I love I love scatters. Yeah. yeah, it's a pretty great mechanic. Mm. And look how costly that non-block was, eh? Because if he'd just done that block first, A, he could have re-rolled it. <laughs> but B, at least they would have had something a bit better if that had failed. Or like when that failed. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, dirty 1D. Beautiful one, day, isn't it? With the power. Yeah. Gee, it's. I mean, Kelsey got the reroll still, right? So he's got some initiative here that if he can make PC burn the last one, suddenly everything's very, very tricky. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> and the ball's deep, burn, in, you know, balls deep in uh, PC's half, isn't it? So if he, if he can get some, like, uh, you know, some dice happening, he can even put in, like, a reroll to make something. Happen, he's got four. He can, you know, look to take some greedy, greedy lines to. Well, he you know, did take a greedy, things, greedy so. line. He was trying to one D power him, I guess, to get the blitzer as a one D on the ball. Yeah, but a few dice to happen, but you know, it's it's that something, was, isn't it? Yeah. I think that was a bit too greedy, but he went for it. Didn't pay off. Mm, can't get can't get it if you don't go for it. But That's true, yeah. If they could have worked, couldn't it? And even a push, he's still like, you know, he's still there, isn't he? He can still blitz mm. with somebody else and stuff. So it was yeah. unlucky to one in nine. Consecutive in consecutive turns, he's one in nine with the yeah. failed catch and the failed yeah. one. Crit critical failures. Not mm -hmm. not the biggest not the biggest fan of them this year. Not a very good thing to do. Is it? No, no, I, I advise against it, really. Yeah, critical failures. <laughs> I do I do advise to dodge like a uh, PC, though, in this game. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's, 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 he's been on a tear, this game. The dwarves, you know. Are they elves? Are they dwarves? Who knows, really? Oh, he's born They're catching him. scatter catches, but the dodging. <laughs> it's crazy. It's rowdy. I mean, it's... Cal seems going to need a bit of. Did the, was that the blitz? A bit of magic now to make it happen. Half those dodges. Was that the He's blitz from the ogre? Of... No, he didn't lose his blitz at least. I thought he might have been like blitzing the runner and then basing with the ogre. Yeah, basing he... the back. That wouldn't have been too bad. Well, no power on this at all, unfortunately. But I do, I do like that follow. Because eventually, you know, a dwarf blocks here means he's not waddling up the pitch, which means he's not providing. You know, if it's just the two runners, one runner can't completely screen the other runner, can he? <laughs> no, he exactly. needs some buddies. Yeah. And here's the, the speed of the catcher there all the way back. And like, a nice he dodge there as well. Seven. Yeah, guess the GFI's in with his spare reroll. Good thinking back house him. Probably under a bit of time pressure at the end of this turn. Just realising. That he's got a bit of momentum he can use with his uh, There is the uh, there is the two D block you give him. <laughs> the guy gets cast out. Yeah, absolutely yeah. standard. Yeah, exactly. It's like hmm, the the strategic, you know, opponent hurt derp all game. No cares. You strategically base one dude to uh, take him out of you know, play for a second. Instant full death. <laughs> yeah. Classic blood dog. I don't know how he's getting the ball safe here. No, I think I think we're about to see what's called a potato gym. It's a pretty <laughs> high level. And he could he could go know. for the dodge here, couldn't he? He could go for the blitz of dodge and like sideline oh, dodge. Yeah, that's, that's... We kind of has to do that dodge first though if he's sideline catching, right? Like mm -hmm. you don't wanna I'm a bit curious about PC's push directions here, because he's pushing all of Calcium's players closer to the action. You know, he pushed that catcher on the troll slayer closer, he pushed the guard blitzer, he could have had him on the other side, you know, mm. behind the play. 
If some dodges by calcium work, could be a bit tricky, hey. I really like this guy to, to base the guard. Uh, if, if you ask me, yeah, you can read that. I mean, uh, that feels a really good one to get down, especially with the Mighty Blow on the oh. That's my favorite. One of my favorite graphical glitches of Blood Bowl 2 is where, like, <laughs> the bell or the blitz sign just spreads over the entire screen. Oh, oh, look at this. Right look what he did. He moved he his catcher back. It's turn 15. Oh, no. No, Calcium, no, you can't win. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, he is playing for the win as well. So that's, I mean, Ogre in range? Is it? Uh, the Ogre needs to yeah, get that kind, of, that kind of cuts out, cuts out most of Calcium's win chances, meaning he probably needs to... I mean, if he does... I mean, I guess losing... Maybe he thinks he's so likely to lose that he needs the tie to get the best result. Yeah. But, you know, maybe he thinks he can. There's chance, slim chances to recover if he gets a loss here. But at the moment, I, I wouldn't mind. Mind his win chances, honestly, because you know, look, look how many dudes there are in the backfield, and look how many, you know, how many, how many men does it take to stop a <laughs> to two die dwarf? You know. Yeah, I think if only this catcher had been like here or something, you know, then. uh I guess he would have still got bracketed or whatever. But he could have had a glitzer up. Ah, maybe not, right? He's still... PC's done a good job if making every single dodge here. <laughs> oh, my God! Yeah, oh, my goodness. It's like, he hasn't got that many people free, but he still has the two free for the 2D. And it's the, the blockless one as well, so extremely likely to get that down with the re-roll in here. And the armor break, does that seal the deal? Are there any fancy chain pushes which I yeah, no, can't see? PC is done. You know. and as is calcium, is because the, <laughs> the ogre is not the ogre's, in range. Ogre's out of range? Okay, beautiful. Okay. But yeah, if only, if only that catcher had been up here, he could have lobbed it to him at the end, couldn't he? And it would have been a 5 plus mm. catch, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, who knows? You know, PC did get some, some dwarves up here to base people, maybe... If that catch is not back, maybe maybe that those dwarves get to base people who um, matter more. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Oh, oh, well, it doesn't matter. No, no. I was like, what's what's out there? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was getting confused. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, you know, just because exactly, exactly as you say, like, every, everything has, like, a kind of butterfly effect, hasn't it, in, in the game? So, like, it's, uh, who knows? Who knows? But I think, I think he should have, I think he should have kept, like, I think, he, I do think he should have kept the catch up there. And I think he just, you know, got carried away. Like, he was streaming, he was talking while he was playing. It's minute turns. I think if it's, if it's you know... If it's a normal game, you would have probably kept someone up there, but as it was, he was oh, just... Oh, yeah, like, exactly. And your, and your primary goal is like, oh, I've lost the ball, I need to get it back. <laughs> so, probably, it's hard to keep, like, lots and lots of goals in mind, which is a kind of cool game, and there's lots of little... You know, your main goal is to score more touchdowns, but you've all got lots of little mini goals along the way to set for yourself. But, like, okay, I need to stop... I need to get the ball off him. So he's like puts all his brain power into what what was the best thing I can do to just mm -hmm. get the ball back. <laughs> Purple chest but, little uh, goal was making twelve out of twelve dodges. <laughs> twenty one out of uh, twenty two GFIs. You know, I see I see why I like playing dwarves. <laughs> he makes all his GFIs and his dodges. It doesn't matter. I play elves if you can just you know if agility's, you know. <laughs> Agility really is the most useless stats because you can just roll sixes, you know. Anyway. <laughs> but you know, he, he did get he did get outcast stuff and and that that blunted mm. his drive a bit. But uh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I thought it was a very good game. I thought well played by. Yeah, Wallace yeah, thriller and, uh, for a zero zero. <laughs> <laughs> and the second game in Group B was myself versus Mister Page four or four. Did you see this one, Gadernik? 
Uh, no, I, I think it was, it was happening at a time on the, on the wrong side of, wrong side of the globe for me. But uh, <laughs> get banged on, Jim. Uh, yeah, death I, roller, death roller for the win. In a way, in a way, um, I was on offense. I think he put me on offense, um, mm. and obviously I was quite scared of the death roller. And then oh, yeah, yeah. I, I got a guy on the right side, like removed. And I thought, like, you got KO'd really early. And I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to score on, like, turn four. I don't care about this KO. I'll save my apple and I'll just push down the side and get an early score. Um, yeah. And then, so then I carried on. I did push down the side, did get the score on, like, turn four or something. Um, maybe it's turn five. Death Roller goes off and, like, thank God for that because uh, <laughs> there's, no, you know, there's no way to deal with it at all. Is there? It's dwarves. It's horrible. It just mangles. Yeah. It's like other teams, you can move away from it. But... <laughs> You can't do that as well, so yeah. yeah. It's kind of good in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, so I was pretty happy about that. And then, uh, you know, so Mr. Page has got like three or four turn drive. And uh, and then I had a, I had just had a critical double one failure to like, I was going to, I was going to GFI base his handoff threat and then double GFI his ball carrier, base his ball carrier. Failed the first GFI to base the handoff. He's got no rerolls, hands off, runs forward, uphill, blitzes, dodges, GFIs, everything, and uh, and scored. So I was, I was not that happy, but he did the right things, you know. At the end of the day, um, so I couldn't be, I couldn't, I didn't, you know, there was no, there was no ill feelings after the game. But at the time, I wasn't the happiest bunny. <laughs> <laughs> not the happiest bunny. Yeah, and then. Uh, and then second half again. Second half, he scored early, and I had the chance to equalise still. Um, and then again, just like all of my dice rolls failed, um, all the critical ones failed. So like it wasn't, it wasn't a, it wasn't a dicing at all. I think I out removed him, um, but it just felt like you know there was the critical swingy turns went his way and not my way, which is totally fair because that's what happened against Calcium the week before, where I beat Calcium one 0 and could have easily lost one 0 And you know on another day this could have easily been a, a two one win. So there you go. And unfortunately, this game wasn't played. Um, Dionysian and Inarian arranged to play each other. Um, Dionysian didn't make it. And then he said to give Inarian the win. I confirmed it by PM that, you know, and he just said there was no way he was going to get it played. And he was he was fine giving the win to Inarian. So there yeah, you go. Yeah, well, Inarian winning the real battle in the scheduling threads. That's where the war starts. <laughs> you know, you gotta got to offer your opponent... Th- times which you know will be unsuitable for them you know near when they go to sleep or near when they just wake up you know just only a couple times throughout the week you know make make sure you know you, you take away the, the morning you know drug their morning coffee so they they fall asleep through the scheduling you know it's it's all about that winning 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 the blood ball before it starts the real yeah. battles okay and here's the table good Ooh, pretty close up the top there it's very close, isn't it? Yeah, four people have got a chance of qualifying. Um, and yeah, not much in it at all, is there? Yeah. So, uh, I believe even PC himself up the top is, is not quite locked in yet, is he? He's he not, no. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm playing... Um, well, 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 we'll do the fixes in a minute, but I'm playing Inarian, and he is playing Andy Devo. So, you know, it's very possible that he could lose Ooh. and I could win. And then obviously if he loses, it means Andy Davos won. So he could actually finish third on seven points. Ooh, um, wow, wow. Or, of course, he could finish a clear first on nine points. Anything could happen. Yeah, final week. It's, it's good to have some, you know, a couple you know, games which really, really matter in the final week. Great to see a top of the table clash between PC and Andy in the last week. That, that's a bit of fun. Yeah. And here are the fixtures for the final week. Wow. What some some amazing fixtures there, Jim. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Calcium has still got a chance to qualify, right? If he beats Dio, um, who has nothing to play for. Um, you know, I probably need to beat Inarian. And yeah, PC versus Andy, anything can happen. Yeah. Well, you, um, I think this PC, you know, does a draw lock him in? Um... He might just play for the draw, which might give. Maybe that gives Andy, you know, a trickier time trying to win if PC's just trying to draw. Yeah, maybe. Of course, if I draw against Inarian, then Andy would have to win. <laughs> so mm. Andy's probably thinking he's got to win. 
Oh, no. Yeah, well, that, that's what I'm thinking. Andy's Andy's trying to win, but if PC's trying to draw that, it's kind of an interesting thing, you know. If PC's pushing for the win, that in reverse kind of makes Andy win more likely. Yeah. But if PC's just like, oh, if I draw, I'm I'm in. Maybe he that gives Andy less chance. Mm. No, it's, it's hard to say. It's interesting, but Andy is the one with the agency, isn't he? As is the Dark Elves, he's the one who can mm. who can you know score an early touchdown and go for the turnover if he if he has to, um, or wants to, or whatever. Like whereas dwarves just don't get that chance ever, do they? <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, I, I'll whatever you do, I, I'll sit there and take my blocks. That will that's what I'll do for this. <laughs> You know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And moving on to Group A, what a resounding thrashing this was for Rick at the hands of Kanor. Incredible result. Oh, yeah. Down with those oppressive, oppressive ogres. I'm, I'm, I'm not on the on board with this, you know, stunty love train. I, I need Rick Reckless, you know, I need him losing games going forward. I, I'm very happy to see this result. <laughs> down, down with the ogres. Yeah, and uh, I I didn't see this one live, but I did hear that there because it was it was at a bad time. But um, I did hear that there was two blitzers for the Skaven, so that's certainly oh good. Uh... Good is all I can say. <laughs> good. This band's bullied the division for too long with his ogres. He shouldn't be allowed to humiliate us all like this. Go Knorr. <laughs> Yeah, great, great performance by Knorr, isn't it? This, uh, this, this week he's guaranteed qualification. Mm. Only person in the entire, you know, either div. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, very good. And the second game was Crucifer versus Eliod. Mm. I saw a little bit of this. Uh, I've just peeked in on, over, over cable vision, um, just just briefly before I went to bed, and it looked like Eliod was. Uh, Doing the old 2D leads, you know, bang on men's strat, you know, seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of proof. It's pretty good. He did win. He did win rerolls on the kickoff results in both halves, which certainly helped him because he, he hated his two reroll build. And uh, yeah, 17 AV breaks. That is on and level AV breaks, isn't it, in the World Cup? <laughs> Yeah, it's mean, what you want to <laughs> see is you know, you're you playing all like yeah, let's beat us up, beat up some people. So it's good to good to occasionally get that high roll in the uh, bash department sometimes. <laughs> yeah, they, they need it, don't they? Orcs? They're a bit like the dwarves, you know, like how they they kind of need those removals. If they don't get them, people mm. get in the way and they're slow and not very agile, and it gets really tough for them to to actually like yeah, play blood ball. Yeah. Well, that's very true. Very true. And living up to uh, Shawnee's Shawnee's uh, logo here, this was another dicing. <laughs> um, well, this time again. in his favour. Yeah. Oh, it's it's surprising. All of Shawnee's games have been dicing. I, I mean, I've I've heard the result from his uh, from his website. Some of them have been simul dicings, but I believe I believe this one was a comedy mega dicing. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Literally every game Shawnee has played has been has been a dicing one way or the other. It, he has not had like a normal game with like real blood <laughs> no. ball happened. <laughs> it's just ruined it's crazy. people. Got it's me, Nor, and Rip all absolutely walked over Shawnee. Just with like we killed all his players, uh, <laughs> begged on all his men, got blitzers, whatever. Like it was not even like not even he didn't even get to play and then and then he bullies poor fat like this bullying the elderly it's just not acceptable you know. <laughs> and here's the table for group a so you're still in with a shot nick mm, yeah a bit bit of a long shot uh i've got to win my game and have rick lose his game and then because we're tied on head to head it goes to a random result i've been practicing you know my wheel spinning this season, so I'm I'm hoping for a good result. <laughs> well, I wouldn't maybe trust you your wheel spinning. One of the wheels, yeah. <laughs> maybe you can use one of the wheels. I'll send you over. You know, it'll have, it'll have me on some of the options and Rick on some of the options. Um, very fair, balanced wheel. I'll send you if if we do end up getting to that situation, Jim. Yeah, that sounds good. We can have we can have Elliot and Dimmy do it on a <laughs> some kind of notepad. <laughs> <laughs> results yeah it'd be great yeah <laughs> but uh yeah so the, yeah this wasn't not quite as close as group b uh but you know incredible by canor wasn't it you know unbeaten the only unbeaten coach left yeah, in both groups 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I of course, I'm still on, on board with this trend of uh, wanting Rick to lose, 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 um, so that I can win, win, win. But great job by him as well. Second at the moment with the Ogres, with a reasonable shot at qualifying. Yeah. Yeah, a draw, a draw or a win guarantees him in. And uh, let's have a look at the fixtures. Oh, and here we've got the fixtures. Now, uh, Shawnee versus Chris for a bit of a watch, just for the, their pride on the line. See uh, see what kind of dicing it is, you know, who, who goes where. Games that matter are the the ones uh, following. Uh, Elliot versus Rick and Kanor versus myself. Um now they only matter for <laughs> me, myself, and Rick. Uh, Elliot and Kanor have nothing to play for as they've either locked their way in or out of the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, there is the seeding, isn't there? There is the seeding is a factor. Kanor will, you know, I'm, I'm sure he won't care too much about the result, but a draw will guarantee him a uh, top seed as winner of the group. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he's, you know, he, uh, Kanor's gonna put his all on, I'm sure he's not going to, you know, say because the result doesn't matter particularly to him, he could he could let someone else win. I'm not saying if that's a good option or not. But, you know, it's a possibility, but I don't think he will do. He's a competitive lad. And, you know, yeah, I don't uh, think anyone would do right. <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, corruption in the Super League. <laughs> Absolutely not. M maybe if there's a few billion involved, but there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's all the play for. It's some so really good, really good matches uh, for the final week in both divisions, isn't there? And like, it is just an outside chance for you, but at least, at least there is a race there in in both. Oh no, yeah, have, having something to play for in the final week, you couldn't ask for too much more, really. Chris. To keep keep it all exciting. Um, now, yeah, I mean, Shawnee versus Crucifer. I'm sure they'll, you know. Have a bit of fun playing their game, but having nothing on, you know, having something on the line feels feels good anyway. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, and I mean that'll still be a great game, right? Shawnee and Cruz, brilliant coaches, like it'll still yeah, be worth brilliant. watching. Like, yeah. That's the that's the great thing about great the Super watching, League. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, even though the game is, you know, it's not super relevant to the you know the results of the league, but it's still going to be a super fun game to watch because you got two, yeah. You know, you've got some great personalities, great coaches in. Super fun. Yeah. There you go. Thank and you. I have scheduled... Oh, oh. Carry on. Or do you want me to... I have scheduled my game versus Knorr for 9 UTC on Saturday. Oh, brilliant. So if people wanting to watch that on Knorr's or my own channel. Fantastic. Well, uh, yes, I'll be watching that for sure. And thank you very, very much, G'day Nick, for joining us today. It's been glorious. Yeah, it's been lots of fun, Jim. Uh, pleasure. Thank, thank you for having me along today and in the Super League. It's, it's been, been a good laugh. Cheers. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. <laughs>